This took me forever to figure out on my own. Because I tried searching online and I was getting bits and pieces of the data, but I couldn't quite find all of it. And I had to do a lot of trial and error. Right now, I'm playing a game called Room Factory. But what, what save file am I using? Well, I'm using the one from this cartridge right here, which I've put onto an R4, as you can see. Shit. Uh, if I just pull it out, which I can't seem to do with one hand. There, R4i for 3DS. Which doesn't work with the newer versions of the 3DS, but, well, that's because this is an older version, whatever. So, basically, you'd think you would just be able to copy this save file from here and put it straight onto your R4. It's not as simple as that. First of all, you need one of these. Okay, that's fair enough. This is an exploder um, cartridge save copier thing. I don't know what you call it that basically. So you put this into there and then it saves a file into a directory it doesn't even give you access to. So you have to search around for it for ages until um, you find it in one of the, uh, the uh, areas, whatever. Basically this is where I found the save files. Local virtual store program files exploder DS exploder saves and it saves it as a GDS file. And in order to know which game save it is, you have to manually open it in Notepad and read the, the uh, save uh, header thing. So if I open this with Notepad++, you'll see it says Rune Factory right here. That's how I knew I had the right file. But look, 19 kilobytes. For some stupid reason, it seems that Exploder, as far as I can tell, has converted the fixed size save file to a dynamic sized save file which means that any emulator running this uh, running the game with this save file will freak out and say our files are corrupted or it might not even read them at all <sighs> so did a bit of searching online found this converter except r4i isn't an option only r4 is so uh as you can see, R4. So you choose your stupid file, which is, I'm in the wrong directory. You choose that GDS file I was just talking about, so. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. So you copy this directory, you go back to here, you paste, whatever, open. Then you select the game file you were just looking at, you go to open, then you tell it you're converting from a GDS file. Then you have to, this took me a lot of trial and error. At first I thought, oh, well, since it's a 64 kilobyte save, which I found out from trial and error, because my R4 told me, because it, cre it automatically creates a save file when you open up the game, and it happens to be uh, 64 kilobytes. Uh, 64, yeah, so that told me the right file size. But if you convert it to 64 kilobytes, it exports out a save file that's 9 kilobytes, which crops off all the data from your save file, deleting it essentially. Uh, wow, I need to try for my phone apparently. Now if I can continue recording, oh gosh, low battery. Okay, sorry about that noise. It is uh, charging, isn't it? please. <laughs> so, okay. That. Um, so, what other options do I pick? Well, 256? Nope. Converts it to, I think it's 31 kilobytes? 512. Converts it to, the, to um, 31 kilobytes as well. Oh, sorry, no. Actually, no, sorry, I'm talking, uh, sorry, I'm wrong, how? Uh, no. I've, uh, like, let me think this through. I got the numbers wrong. I can't remember what the right numbers are though. I think this one converts it to 21 kilobytes save file, and this one converts it to 25 kilobytes save file, which doesn't make any sense, does it? So, opening these up actually show your files in game, but it says that they're both corrupted, or, no, sorry, it says that the second file is corrupted and the first file works fine because 
that's where it's chopped the data off. It's chopped off the data for the second file. So what do I do? It turns out I have to select the biggest file possible, 20, uh, 1024, which then converts it to a 40 kilobyte save file, which pushes it then to load up, well, it forces it into a 64 kilobyte file when you open up the game. And then you can finally play the stupid game on your DS using a save file you got from your, car uh, your actual game cartridge. All this trouble because this game has a larger save file, it seems, I guess, for all the customization. I don't even know.